Hi friends, welcome back. Trying to set the vibe, the mood. For those who know, you know. What song is that? I just put the instrumental because I don't want to get in trouble. I like using music, but we'll see if they try to hit me even with the instrumental. Right? PM Dawn, remember? I love them. This song and the Memory Adrift song. This one is um, Die Without You. And it shows the importance, right, of human connection and love and all that stuff. And I have a chart here for you. Because I put that chart up yesterday on my community tab. So you have the different frequencies, which is important because especially as an empath, remember I was kind of going into how we can pick up on bad vibes because um, we go into this, right? Everybody, everybody gives off a certain frequency, right? Even if they don't think they give it enough, it could be the tone, it could be the way they're expressing themselves. And you're going to find, like, you can sense it. You can sense the passive aggressiveness, you know? Although, you know, I can hang with the best of them, right? I can tell when I get, like, a frenemy vibe or whatever from someone. And it's whatever. It's all, you know, you also have to learn how to roll with the punches as well, too, right? But when you go into this chart, I want to try to bring it up for you guys. You have enlightenment at the top, right? So you have even shame, very low vibe. When we talk about low frequencies, I don't want people to get too confused with me and my channel. I know that because I use all these different terms and I have this healthy understanding of the spiritual, okay, women are highly spiritual, um, we can be connected. We get misbranded, misguided, okay? And it gets to the point where it becomes deformation because anytime a woman speaks so boldly for the most high, right, they're going to take it and say, label the person, whatever, right, or which, or this and that, which, um, I know, right, don't mind the pun, which in the cases of some of these people, a lot of them have no spiritual connection to the most high. They reduce them down to some type of consciousness or whatever. I don't know if they're working on shame, guilt. Some of them is straight apathy. It's like any type of low vibe reason to try to discard, right, some, so anything, right? Especially something as amazing as the creation story. And from that time on, I mean, I guess you got to be plugged in to be plugged in. Now, if you're waking up to the matrix... Um, you're going to go through some layers, right? Some people are two years awakened, three years. I'm 10 years plus, okay? And sometimes you got to go back into the matrix to wake other people up, do what you got to do, and get out, right? You know what I mean? Um, there, Because a lot of people, um, when they talk about certain things, right? They will um, say either you got to be out all the way, like, you know, live off grid. Yeah, that's everyone's end goal, right? End goal. But there are um, factors, right? You got to um, do what you can while things are still going. And if you're smart, and which I like to teach, you know, men and women to save, to be conservative as far as, you know, putting money aside buying things that could have use in the event of an emergency, tangible goods that could help you in the event of a blackout or whatever, right? That's why I like showing some of my tools or whatever that don't use power and I try to get away from electrical sources the, as much as I can, right? But, you know, you still got to survive, right? Um, unless you're willing to go into the woods right, right now. You know, you still got to um, do things to keep the lights on and keep things pushing, right? So, to be able to spread these type of messages too, to wake people up, right? But a lot of people will throw labels around. 
like, um, you know, if you're going to throw words like witch or this and that, make sure you use it in the right um, perspective, right? Because the medical industry goes into the pharmacia. Um, when you're talking about poisonous plants, okay? When you're talking about even psychology, okay? Messing with someone's mind, right? Um, so pharmacia is sorcery. It's the Greek word for sorcery okay there are books on the matter uh, on the matter okay um there's one by anna mendez farrell oh she could be my cousin <laughs> ferrera farrell um i was thinking about putting something together too which i want to to expose whatever because you get in so much trouble when you try to talk about it and you show people you know like waking up was um, very helpful to show the dark side of it all first like the world is under a huge delusion of deception and they are worshiping false entities so if you got false entities there must be you know a real entity too that is um, in opposition right so um, that's why it makes you know God that much more real too to see the tricks of you know the devil or devils you know I'm sure there are many right so the so you see it was F A R so you could see how that would be farm and even um you know just to bring it home to you what did hypocrisy um let thy food be thy medicine which I have a shirt sometimes I wear it. And you'll see it sometimes. Um, so it's interesting how the founding fathers of the medical system, right? They already knew what it was. And even the elite, they don't shop at the same places as you. You won't see them in the same suit. It's all hand-picked, fresh, all the time. That's why they can live so long and they do what they do, right? And a lot of them, you know, will delve into you know, the dark side of what they do, which is straight up cannibalism using blood facials. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian. These are very, you know, or when you see witches using, you know, um, that's why it's important. Like when I was bringing up that story with that gentleman who spit at that lady working at Duncan, well, your fluids and all that there, it's potency in, in there. That's why um, you know, I had to do the training as far as when you're in the restaurant industry um, about physical contaminants, biological contaminants. These are very, very important to be aware of because you don't want that contaminating food or people or whatever because people walk around um, with, with different type of hep A or whatever, right? So that right there was like a direct assault on what he did, right? So, you know, a form of witchcraft indeed, you know, doing stuff like that. So, um, you know, you got to be careful and people forget, you know, injecting substances when you go into jabs. I'm telling you, I know I have a sensitive audience because I know I have some people that know me that watch. So I try to be sensitive and break things down carefully. And so, and the point of the matter too is that a lot of YouTubers that I may get along with, they may not believe in God, but they're trying to expose witchcraft. Well, where else did you find witchcraft? I guess witchcraft wouldn't exist because to most atheists, they're all about it. It's like all is relative, right? Like, because there's no good and evil. So where do you guys stand on whatever? And when they just talk about the force, that is so vague. I mean, um... You talk about the weather is that the winds is that um the water force is that what kind of force right and who drew who created that for there is a creator and it had he had to be intelligent and when you try to tell people about his character and that he is um someone you can understand or try to understand because he has attributes you know, they want to say, oh, the book has been tampered with or whatever. Well, the New Testament was put in years after the fact. The Torah, you know, stands in the Tanakh, okay? So the Torah would be, um, you know, the books of Moses and, the, you know, the Tanakh would be the prophets. So when you read, you know, and you really understand, a lot of the stuff we've been taught was just, you know, false Christianity, false whatever, but... I think it was just try to, it was a trick bag to push people away from the true God, right? Because 
if uh, you know you get lied in one area, you almost want to throw everything away, right? But you know you have to use discernment, right? So um, you know, because when I talk about even herbs, people get all flustered, and it's like, what do you mean? What do you even mean? They don't read. They listen to their false preachers and teachers. You have a lot of people even on here who live a very questionable lifestyle, but look down, you know, um, with cannabis or herb, not realizing it's been around. The Native Americans had a whole economy that centered around that hemp. Huge deal. When you really, really go into it, it shows how it does calm your spirit. If you use it responsibly and to connect... Like, I need to be alone. I'm not out there. You know what I mean? It really has you thinking, um, you know, trying to be up in his perspective. That's why they say you're high, right? Because your your perspective got is higher, right? It's, it's up here when you, you know, get high because the world's low kind of thing. And so you're closer to the most high, but you have to, again, you can't, the way they're doing it now and they're putting stuff in it, you know, that's why it's important. And they try to make it harder for people to grow themselves but um you know you still can and i'm glad certain states and that's why i favor certain states because of the legalization and all of that right because um they have more of an understanding knowing that that was a flower to begin with just like a lot of tea you know in china biggest tea exporters um, and you cut up these flowers, you can make a lot of things, right? I am a producer. Dia Dash Productions produces holistic remedies. This one here is from my Kadesh Gardens brand, which is Cherry Blossom Healing Canna Bosom Oil. So you need to look up articles like, was marijuana mistranslated in the Bible? I've put that article up several times. You have to go back to the Hebrew origin, right? Because uh, cal uh, Caluminous was put, was mistranslated, but it was really canna bosom, okay? So I want you guys to, to look up Isaiah. 18 so yeah frequencies showing you that chart we can definitely understand so if someone gives us a bad vibe you know you could feel it because that um energy that frequency that hurts is coming off it can come off the screen even so we got isaiah chapter 18 verse 2 2 Sounds like the Most High is having a session. Okay, shout out to Lex Will. I think he was the first one to put me on to this. Hi, Lex. He's like my long lost cousin or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's like spiritual cousin. I don't know. So, um, Isaiah, and I was like, you know, I got really emotional because I always knew. And it's funny how it's 18 goes into, er, you know, the herb. And then in Revelation 18, by thy sorceries were all nations deceived by their pharmacia, their pharmaceuticals, and even the um, nutritional industry with those powders and, you know, guys taking steroids and enhancers, Adderall to study. Are you kidding me? That is like meth. Okay. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay. I had an ex. He did that. He was mean nasty asking me to do his work like listen please and then the, they do all that right because they can't focus to save their life uh they do all that and then at the end they want to take all the credit it's like you needed my help to get by like you needed all these crutches like are you serious and then people would look down to me because i like espresso and a little bit of herb here and there. i'm like that's a way better combination than all the pharmacia bullshit you guys push now, never mind your Viagra and these rap songs they're teaching for men to take Percocets to make um, sex last longer. Really? Really? Pretty sickening. So, uh, pharmacia, the use or the administering of drugs. Poisoning. Hmm. Poison. I never heard anybody die from cannabis. Have you? What's the worst thing that you can do? Eat a little bit extra 
and sleep. Some people need that because they'll be so stressed. You know how many times I've been so stressed I couldn't eat and that helped me? And that cleared up so many skin issues. Putting that transdermally, I take the leaves and I infuse it. That's why I sell some of these. So great for your skin, right? So like healing up, I had a little burn here. Healing it up, look, it's already going away so fast. So I'm gonna read this to you quick. Where were we? Because I don't wanna make this long. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, where are you? Okay, verse four. Can you see it? I'm gonna try to bring it up. For the Lord said unto me, I will take my rest, and I will consider in my dwelling place like a clear heat upon herbs, and like a cloud of dew, you know, like when you fish bowl, you make a smoke and you smoke, in the heat of harvest. For afore the harvest, when the bud is perfect, buds, <laughs> and the sour grape is ripening in the flower, okay so he's saying how to um you know do some foraging and all of that but in verse four if you really really read it and you have any type of discernment you'll know what the hell he's talking about stop your madness he, if he created all he can partake in his creation it's all his it's all his even the fruit of your loins even right so it's all his right so these are just flowers, Isaiah. Isaiah is a great book. You know, um, he talks many verses I was just going into. I mean, he really doesn't like strong drink. And a lot of people, I lost my page. Um, so, yeah, um, it's funny because, like, this gentleman was trying to say, he, you know, the Most High is known as a creature and as he's terrible. Yeah, when he's mad or whatever, like... He's not human flesh like us. Like human flesh, like a man, or, is not the highest on the totem pole, so to speak. There are, you know, there is some verses he's made of fire, ice, whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, he has the form like we are in his image, like the form, but yeah, he's mighty and terrible. I mean, for him to be able to speak and you know, create luminaries to do, you know, to in order their steps to make everything. Come on now. You know, how do you not see it? And it, it's showing that, you know, some of these people have been um, jaded by some of their experiences. And waking up for the matrix, you're going to go on a lot of loops. Like when I first went, uh, opened up, uh, opened my eyes to a lot of things. I um, got out of Christianity. Then I was like studying like Hebrew Israelite stuff. Or, like, Jewish, like, I was st studying the Jewish calendar and realizing, like, we're not on the same calendar. Then I started going into, like, the Hebrew Israelites and the ones who were still teaching Christianity. I got away from that. I started learning from certain people. You know, I brought up Lex Will. Um, and I, then I did my own research. And, you know, that's why, you know, I appreciate him so much bringing us back to the Hebrew um, and calling on you know, the true Hebrew name in Exodus 3.14. So I use my, um, you know, holistic knowledge and my reading skills and all of that. And we all kind of like a, a collective um, learn from each other. But I'm meeting people more and more every day. And some people are just like, oh, you know, they woke up from whatever. They may be an entrepreneur and they're like, oh, you know, go, doing a nine to five, you got to get out right now. I used to think well, you're going to go through a lot of loops. Then you're going to realize that you can still be awake and do what you got to do. Not saying, oh, you got to just be at a nine to five. I'm also a producer and working toward working for myself full time. But I still like working out of the house and getting my certifications and whatever that the company is willing to pay and invest in me and stuff like that. Um, you know, because I do learn. So as long as you're doing what um, is good for you. You know, I always tell people, you know, do it to a certain age, but always do it where you have a goal. Like by the time I'm 50, I want to be, you know, already done with certain things and, you know, be taking it easy more. So I don't mind grinding right now, you know, and still be awake because when you're, you know, around other people who maybe haven't heard some of this stuff, you're going to be put in positions where you can enlighten them, you know, also which is a beautiful thing. 
So, um, I lost my verse when it came to, you know, strong drink or whatever. We'll just keep this video on a shorter, on a shorter thing, right? I just wanted to show you guys that because a lot of people get really weirded out. And, you know, that's probably why, because they're not making sense. You know, I got this while I was in jail. I was 18. Shout out to my aunt for giving me that. Her name is Fatima or Fatima, but she changed it to Cindy. I think Fatima was prettier. Um, she sent this to me. Of course, she was still into Jesus. And she put, Dear Diane, in these pages of God's words, may you find the joy, the comfort, and true place that only comes from knowing Him. Well, he put, she put Jesus, so I just scratched it out and I put the most high. <laughs> Because Jesus, we know, you know, is a, a lesser entity. Again, no other gods before me. Stick to the Ten Commandments. You'll be good. Read these pages in it. You will find comfort. May God bless you, Diane, and give you all his love. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Cindy. So you never know. Did you know that you can... Um, yeah, I got into a fight when I was younger. Long story short, whatever. <laughs> Uh, I'll draw some moral lessons from that, sure, sure, at another time. But just knowing that, you know, I had to go through, you know, my stages to, to understand. And knowing that you can send things like this to people who are incarcerated and um, they can, you know, find comfort in that. You know, writing letters to my family, reading this book, um, and this was many years ago. We're going back to like ni 1998, okay? And I still have this. It's still close to my heart. But, um, you know, let thy food be thy medicine, guys. Let me, uh, yeah, you can still see what I'm working with. I love this. You can get shirts. But this was from Hippocrates. So we went from that. And now they're trying to taint the food supply. You know, the FDA, I learned, controls the food supply except meat, poultry, and eggs, which is the USDA. What does that tell you? Okay food and drugs or food with drugs there's you know that's why you'll see videos of like chickens being injected with you know there's all this stuff so i'm very keen um in my establishment they pride themselves in all organic food that's great and uh you know as someone who's very keen on cleanliness you know i'm put in that position to make sure things are on the up and up right and those um safety standards are enforced right so um, just know that food and good nutrition, herbs, are the real medicine. And, you know, it, all this stuff, like when I talk about frequencies, I talk, so it can get people confused because they're like, oh, she's talking all that new age stuff. It's, no, I can see from all sides and still put it together in my own concrete picture where I can see that the most, like all of it, a lot of things at the same time can be true, right? But um, I may diverge with certain people. That's why, you know, I may be silent on some topics that you talk about. Because I'm like, yeah, this person is a little bit newer than me. Waking up. I've been woken up for a long, long time. And you're going to go from this to that or whatever. You're going to find a happy medium in between, right? And, of course, I got my red and the blue. You got the red pill talk and the blue. Pretty soon, we need to merge it together and be purple. Red plus blue equals purple. We need to get to the highest frequency, okay, guys? Instead of being this extreme or another, you guys have to meet somewhere in the middle, okay? For comprehension, agreement, harmony, unity, okay? And you're going to see that a lot of people are emanating these type of frequencies. That's why... They, you know, they may smile in your face and be like, you know, I'm in a great mood, but you're, you're radiating, you know, anger. You're rating 150 Hertz. I don't, I don't feel the 500 Hertz. I feel a little janky Hertz coming from you. You know what I'm trying to say? So that could be, so we are very keen on, um, looking through the veil, um, looking past words. We're more about um, the vibes, the action, the whatever, right? And, uh, you know, you can disagree 
on certain things as long as people keep it respectful, you know. I like to, um, you know, I like to have fun with the best of them, you know. We can make jokes or whatever. It seems that a lot of people still have, you know, they're still working on some of this stuff. Um, it could be apathy, could be anger, pride. Pride is pretty low. The pride comes before the fall, right? Pride is only at 175, guys. Willingness, 310, it goes up. So you got shame at the lowest, we'll go from lowest to highest. Shame, guilt, apathy, grief, fear, desire, anger, <clears throat> anger, pride, courage, neutrality, willingness, acceptance, reason, love, joy, peace, enlightenment. Okay? And you can use um, different methods to, like we went into that other chart. Um, different music people are using higher frequencies and stuff like that and you know the Bible has a whole book with numbers so let's not be all scared or all that there's no need for that um you can go into the world of look it even shows the diseased body a lot of people are um very keen on this because you can do a lot of healing and there's many videos, like, what is it, Cy uh, cymatics, where the sand, look up videos about sand moving with frequency. You'll see videos, and they'll have a plate, and the sand will make different geometric patterns depending on the frequency, okay? So you'll see that fresh foods has their own um, frequency that is very helpful to the body. Fresh foods have 20 to 27 hertz. Fresh herbs... 20 to 27 hertz dried foods, 15 to 22 hertz dried herbs, 15 to 22 um, hertz, so the fresh um, herbs and foods have about 5 hertz more. Listen to this, processed canned food, zero. How many do you think a pills have? Oh wait, probably negative hertz, are you kidding me? So you got even the diseased um, body. Disease starts at 58 megahertz. Be careful with your phones. Don't sleep with your phone. If it's not more than three feet away from you, put it on a chair. You know, I'm guilty of that once in a while. They're still admitting to get really hot. Death begins at 25 megahertz. Receptive to cancer, 42. Okay, receptive to Epstein-Barr is 52, which a lot of people say that's another term for polio, okay? So your brain frequency range is between 72 to 90 megahertz. Um, genius brain, mm -hmm. 80 to 82, so keep your frequency up. The normal brain frequency is 72. Human body is 62 to 78 megahertz. Okay, so you got the liver. Very important. So that's why, you know, there's different herbs that are good for the different organs and stuff like that. And it's important to learn this stuff because a lot of people are miseducated with their own body. But yet that carries you through your whole life. And if you don't feel well, of course that's going to translate into your outlook. It's going to induce depression. It's going to bring sickness. And then you can't be your best self, guys. Okay, um, I didn't know if you guys heard of Open Office. I just downloaded it. Great. I was spending so much, guys, on Word. Yes, Microsoft, what's up with that? No one wants to pay those exorbitant fees. And I'm over here doing my um, religious waivers, my medical religious waivers, so you can be protected against, you know, the foulness of this fascist system. Um, when they try to say you have to have insurance to file your taxes or you're going to get penalized or you have to get these type of jobs before coming to this school. I've been working on this for years. This is something that I do. I do a lot of things on the outside. I don't share every little thing. But when I have um, things that are ready to go and if you all need, especially right now, it's um, school starting, especially college, um, if you need a waiver, to protect yourself that way you know you're exercising your constitutional god-given rights that's why having a faith-based like 
some type of belief system is so important that's why the most high is our only refuge because if you don't you really have no basis to stand on with your rights okay the bill of rights the declaration of independent all that look at the preamble talking about unalienable rights given to us by our creator so if you're talking about all this stuff and then you're trying to like take god out of the equation that is a huge problem for me um i can still be um cordial with said people but um we're gonna disagree on some things but here you go and just because one person talks about this doesn't mean they're like all the other people talking about anything similar so i don't even like to use the term matrix too much because um you still got people using it and then you know they're they're still on another path than you you know if it if the path waking up from the matrix doesn't show you that you were born in a satanic system and that the real god um is outside of that but there is a real god then you still lost you know understand there's still a level of black magic going on i appreciate you guys love you guys keep your vibes strong keep your mental health strong your spirit your vibes um you know just keep listening to good stuff if you have to get away from all of like the negative low vibe conversations and energy and i will put some links on my community tab i'll give you guys a deal but this is great transdermal use i infuse all my medicinal herbs from lemon balm to cannabis you name it right um I had a lot, um, a couple of them out just now. Rosemary, great for hair growth. So you can mix many together, make them smelling amazing, and put them on your scalp. It can do a lot of things. It can help with skin issues. And I'm also making my own perfumes using all recyclable products, guys, trying to be good to the earth, doing our part. But it's important to be a producer. You know, I like to teach, but I like to make my own stuff and share with you all what I have going. I am on Etsy. If you go to my homepage, there are tabs in the corner. If you'd like to support my channel, buy one of my products or, you know, shoot me a cash up. And I always reinvest, buy more materials to make said products. And if you're in need and you need some products and you can't afford it, I do give out free samples. That is part of my ministry, True North. Um, also silent angel ministry, right? But it's officially called true north and I do things, you know, um, how I can to, you know, if you guys need something, you always are welcome to shoot me an email. I want to get as many people away from pharmacia as possible. And you can be such a valuable asset even at work you'd be surprised how many conversations i have with co-workers and how it can be enlightening and how they're learning too and we're all sharing our knowledge and stuff so it's really important guys um to be really aware at this time and um you know but make sure you're working with the right frequency yeah that's the baphomet this is the baphomet the goat god they look at this look at this tell me Tell me it's not spiritual. It's not a whole false religion being pushed. That's why the waivers are so powerful. If you find that you need something like that, hit me up. I will be putting it on my Patreon for you guys. I will um, have my, Etsy, my Etsy's up. I'll put as many links as I can below. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. Thanks for um, hanging out with me for a few minutes. And we'll chat soon.